Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's Paint with Josh. We're in the studio with you again today. And the start of a fantastic week for me and a fantastic weekend for you. Tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwiches? Let me know in the comments below. And then I can turn off my radio voice and we can just talk normal. Hey. No, that's not my normal voice anyway. Ugh, guys, I cannot stop thinking. I freaking cut my finger right here on the tip and the glove is making it sweat and sting. Oh, I'm over it. I'm over it already. Just cut the finger off. You can have it. Just take the tip. Leave the rest. Okay. Let's get in here, guys, with a little bit of our paint. And since we just covered our acrylic black and white gessoed little area, just like we've done before, I've showed you guys how to do these many times. Many times. Except this time we spent a little bit longer on it and added some details like a little spooky man in the background and some some gravestones. We're gonna put some more gravestones down here in the front as well. And this crazy old witch just burying her victims all over the place. Gonna be fantastic. So we have to wipe off our excess liquid clear, right? We put on the liquid clear. You saw me scrub it on with the brush. Gotta wipe it off. Try not to touch anything with this finger and try not to focus on it. Okay, let's get out here with a little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna go sort of a, Sort of an orangish reddish feel. We're gonna get a little of our Indian yellow, a little bit of our red together, uh, together, just like that. We don't want too much red because the red's gonna try to overtake. Oh, look at that! Just a spooky old thing in the night, you guys. That's very cool. Very cool. The red's gonna try to cover up all of our colors because the red is a semi-transparent color, right? It's not a full transparent like the rest of our little Indian yellow. So the more that you put it on there and spread it out, right? The more differences you're gonna have. So you might have a little bit of red. Maybe you got a little bit of orange down around here, maybe around the, the house. Oh yeah. Right, mixing the yellow up and down with the red. It's got a little spooky face in the forest back there. We had a little bit more down here. Just a little bit more of that paint and then we mush it and brush it and push it. Right? The more you can spread it out, the more differences you're going to have. All right? If you take that red and you really mush it and push it, you can change it to a less reddy color, right? Out here, a little bit more of our Indian yellow on the brush. On the brush. And then just mush it. You can tell our transparent colors, right? Because they stay bright over the white acrylic paint and dark over the black. <clears throat> Meaning we can still see everything. All right? If we couldn't see everything, and our paint's just instantly covered over. That's an opaque color. A little bit different than what we got going on down here. Right? A little bit of our brownery. Just mushing it and pushing it around. The more that you mix these colors in, the more cool they're gonna be. A little bit of our red over here too, why not? Just pop it in and then mush it around, right? It doesn't all have to be the same. You want it to be different. That way it'll change and become different when we get out there and push our paints on it, right? <laughs> now, we can't necessarily do much more with this brush besides clean it, right? So let's get in here and clean this old sucker. Now that also reminds me, I need to get some of my odorless mineral spirits out and put it in my cup. There we go, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now let's switch to a smaller brush, right? Just a little old small little guy in the night. <clears throat> That way we can control how much paint we put on the canvas a little bit easier, right? So, out here with our white, our titanium white, right out there, and let's just pick a bright spot. I mean, it could be everywhere behind this tree. It could be bright, you know what I mean? Just mixing it up, pushing it. The more that we blend that white down, the more it's gonna wanna cover over our little tree back there, right? So once again, we have to decide how bright we want to allow these colors to spread and grow, right? Do you want to have any bits of sunlight streaking down through your painting? Like perhaps, maybe right down through there, right out of the bright spot across our little uh, gravestone. That way you don't have to put too many details on him, right? You put too many details. If you can see it too well, he's going to be too close. Right down here into that bright area. Gorgeous, right? 
So we get out here, and let's pop another one. Let's go from behind the tree back there. Right, so shooting down, brightening it up, bang. Right, we get to decide where our bright spots are coming from. We are Gandalf the White, and we <laughs> get to decide. Just blend it out. If you don't like it, push it a little bit harder. Oh, that's very cool. What if we threw one off this side? Bink! Just right out the edge. Boom, boom, boom. Get all these little crazy things happening. You can pull some down over your tree if you think it's too dark. Pull some back down over there. But remember, make your bright spot so bright. I can't really see anything. All right, there we go. Almost so bright that it makes us squint to try to see all those little branches. You can still see them in there. You can see them, believe you me, right? Now, we could necessarily leave our cabin back there. We're gonna have to see, because that looks fantastic. <laughs> that looks fantastic, okay? What if we came in here? I was thinking about making them all chunky and thick, but we don't really need to. If we can get in here, let's get a little of our Indian, uh, excuse me, our titanium white and our cadmium yellow. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, I want whatever she's cooking inside of there to be bursting through the seams of the door. All right, so I want the door and the seams of it very bright. Just like that, super bright. Whatever she's got going on, whatever she's cooking up inside there. Oh, maybe it's some chillins, some chillins. Bang, a little bit of brightness out along the edge, right? Very cool. Now. We get to decide how much we want to keep that so we can push on it and blend it till we don't like it anymore. Maybe take these guys and streak them away and away and up. Oh, fabulous. Literally, whatever's going on, whatever spell is happening inside there is causing the brightness to expand out of the door. Isn't that the, just the freaking coolest thing? Legit the coolest thing you've ever seen. Bit too bright with those other lights back there. Now, where do we want to go from here, guys? I almost had an idea of maybe, maybe we could get just a little bit of misty, like fogginess to kind of roll out from behind her little house. Right? Maybe down the stairs, we turn or this way. We don't want to cover up everything, right? We get a little misty, crazy fogginess in there. And then we'll blend it out. This is why the cabin has to remain featureless, right? Because you want to be able to go across all these things. And we can't go across all these things if they're already wet, right? All that acrylic paint back there is dry. Come down like this. Oh, that's going to be cool. All that stuff is dry back there so we can mix over it and not disturb anything that's back there and only play with our oil paints, right? Oh, Man, that's a cool little thing. Oh, the foggy mistiness rolling down the stairs. Shoo, guys, I'm telling you, if I ain't done, told you once, I'm telling you again. Man, that's cool. I love this part right here. The It's like literally bursting out. Love our little misty fog. Why don't we have it roll down? Maybe we can brighten up our little, our little pumpkin guy in here. There we go, just a little bit. Not too much paint, Joshy. There we go, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just a little pumpkin out there. Now, do we put our face in him or do we leave him like that? That's up to you guys, right? If you were wanting to put a little face into him, I would think that the bright white of our titanium white is gonna stand out the most, All right? So we have to get in here and we have to kind of dab in just a little bit of brightness and a little triangle, right? A little triangle-ish kind of a shape. Maybe you know, all kinds of craziness in this little mouth. Bang! Now you got yourself a little jack-o'-lantern down there. Right? Super simple, easy little thing. And you can go back and cover them if you don't like them. <clears throat> you can do whatever you want it to. Anna, what do you think of the little jack-o'-lantern face we got going on in here? Very, very lightly. So, so, so light. Just going over the edge. What do you, what do you think of our little, our little pumpkin down there? She loves it! See? So I'm telling you, you just come up with little ideas. Let's make our, our mistiness a little bit crazier now, a little bit more paint on the brush. As our fog is getting down here and rolling down these steps, maybe it's getting a little bit brighter so we can see a few more details in there, right? Come in here with the spookiness. We're sort of kind of blending it so it kind of flows together, but it stays a bit brighter down here. 
We're not pushing on it so hard. And if we need to, we can go back and add extra paint. Ooh, that's cool. I don't want it to get all the way down to the bottom. I want it to be like in the midst of flowing down the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Holy shaving cream, you guys. That's cool. That's cool back in there. Yeah, what have we got? Just a little bit. That's back underneath here. Just a little touch of our... Just a little bit of shadow. Yeah, that's too much. You know what I mean? You put on too much paint back there and it becomes too much. There we go. A bit of mistiness. Guys. I'm going to wipe back over those little stairs. I wanna, I'm want i trying to save some of the stairs. Right? And then have some of that misty fog in there too. It looks really cool. Just really cool. Bounce a little touch up into that guy. Right around my pumpkin. Don't want to touch him too much. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Let's start putting in some stuff into the foreground over here, all right? Now, in order to have any bit of any dark area show, I have a little bright area behind it, right? Let's push a little bit onto the paint. Now let's get out here with just a small little fan brush. You can use whatever size you want. And we're gonna mix up a little bit of our paint with Josh Plaque color. So who knows out there in the internet world what comes in paint with Josh Plaque, all right? I haven't thought about my finger in a long time and it hasn't hurt. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's gonna start to sting. I just know it. Okay, so what makes up Paint With Josh black color, right? Do you know? You might not know and that's okay. If you don't know, don't be, don't, don't stress, don't worry, right? Let's get out here and this plaque mix is going to be darker than any of the other black that we have on the canvas because we brighten it up with our white and our orange and our red and all that stuff, right? So, Launch down, bink, over here, bink. So let's put one right back there, just a little guy, right? Doesn't have to be humongous, right on our fan brush, loading both sides of the brush, just pulling it straight down, wiggle, wiggle, just like we do with our trees. Now, let's say we have to turn it and make it sort of rounded like these guys are, right? So, what if, I want to have a tree, right there, we could put him down here, actually. Actually, actually, let's throw one back here. Just a little guy, right? We'll go over, bam, and down. Over and down, and then straight down in the middle. Just like that. You got yourself a little guy in the night, right? <laughs> now, we need to get a bit of grassy color. Maybe a bit of our yellowy ochre, a bit of our red, because we're trying to stay with this red and orangey theme, right? So maybe all this guy, maybe these little details coming down. Little stuff that only Anna might notice. Dang, right there. Tapping in, working our guy back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Little things, right? We're not trying to cover up all of our little leaves because you get all this stuff coming, falling down and stuff like that. We're not trying to cover it all, but we do need to make it a little bit misty at the base. And by tapping in and making our, our little grassy area, it's made it just a little touch mistier down at the base right there, right? Now, what if... Just because it might take away too much, though, if we put a big old honking tree right there. I might lose this guy. I don't want to lose my cabin or my door for sure. So we're going to work it. Let's work it in here, guys. Maybe right in the edge of this little path right here. Sh poopy! All of a sudden, a tree comes popping down into the day. And as we start tapping, even when we do it with this little teeny tiny brush, right? Tapping it in, very small, and now we're gonna start bouncing back and forth from side to side. Extending it out, making it a little bit thicker, all over the place, they never all have to be the same. Pop it out this way, pop it out that way. Boom, boom, boom. Not trying to cover much or every little piece, but we do have to put something in there. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Come here and tap a little bit more of my so my yellow or my cadmium yellow as well. There we go. There's my yellow orangey grass. Right up your grass, guys. Bang! Just like that. See that? Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> Isn't it? I think so. Let's come back here. A little bit more yellowy underneath our little guy. Just a little color. Little thing, right? We don't need to have too many little things back here. It's a very spooky little painting, you guys. Very spooky. Okay. <laughs> Now, let's say, since we're gonna have that guy back there, we're gonna have a big tree over here, right? Taking up all this spot, so we know we're gonna have 
maybe one more big uh, gravestone there. So let's come back in here. Remember, guys, you got to tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich that's cut off some of these stairs? Right, if you push off some of those stairs and push them into the background, it's going to make your little gravestones seem that much closer, right? Because we're covering up stuff. Maybe this guy's got a little hump in the middle just to be different. Right, so it comes down, it goes over, it goes down again. And then we can toss in just a little cross. Just wherever you want, guys. Literally. Seriously. How much easier? I've got to get a little bit of green into my grass over here. Just a little touch. We're getting away from all that brightness and stuff. Maybe just there we go. A little bit right in there. There's a little bit of brownery. A little bit of brown grassery as we come in here. I'm going to start to mix it back and back. Getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Not trying to get everything all the same. Hey, <laughs> that's never our goal. We don't want that all to be the same. Let's get in here with that same kind of grassy color, but a little bit more of our yellowy ochre. Come down in here, right around our little pumpkin, kind of sealing them in. We know we're gonna have a big old um, gravestone right over here, so we don't have to do much on that guy, right? Come off again. Man, we could probably put him in right now and be all set. Throw maybe like one little bush down here. A little spiky tree, just a little guy. We'll see. We'll see. Right, we're coming here with our darkness. Got to be the biggest one so far, so we got to go over and down and over and down. Right, we're gonna fill in all this excess inner space. Right there, gorgeous. Right, he's the closest one to us down here on the path, so he's got to be the biggest. Oh, I like that, dude. Anna, what do you think? Some WD-40 on the easel. You hush your face. You just hush. I can't find. I can't find the squeak. Don't. Don't act like I ain't been trying. Okay, <laughs> it's been bugging me, but I can't find the freaking squeak. I don't know where it is. Watch this. I'm gonna show you how to take your your gravestones and really turn them. Just light them up. A little bit of white over here. We know all of our lights coming in from this side. So let's take this dude. Just a little bit brightness. Right. A little touch. Now, being back there. The more that we work him in with that white and the plaque, the darker and darker and darker it'll get, right? We know he's got a little touch of highlight on him. Doesn't have to be so bright, okay? <laughs> little bits. And we came off of this dude, and he's like, ch -ch -ch. just a little bit of action. We'll very lightly blend it in. And that way, we get that little bit of brightness to our thing. We can come back and fix wherever we don't want to have our our thing showing, right? And tap it around the bottom with your grass. All up to you guys, man. Come over this side. Just like that. We're going to make the front of him a little bit bright. There we go. Fantabulous. See that little bit of roll over and drop down right there with that small dark separation in between? That's going to make it look more 3D, right? Looks like it's facing into our painting this way, especially when we come in with our grass and work it from its highest point down to its lowest point. Boom, right in that fantastic, you guys. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Man, that's cool. Now, we can even brighten him up a bit more. Because our main man up here. He's in the light. He's in the lightery. He's up here, he's a little closer, but we gotta leave that bit of darkness in between. That way there's two different things there, right? This is behind in the shadows. It's got to be a bit brighter than those guys, right? Just like that. Staying nice and dark, leaving that dark line around the side. Very cool. All right, now, let's drop in our one big mega tree on the edge, and we'll do one more little guy over here. But let me ask you something real quick. Do you think we have enough paint in this pile in order to do both those trees? Just yes or no answers will work. And in the meantime, I'm going to go back and highlight this little guy. While you're giving me your yes and no answers, I come in here with a little bit of this... Just a little thingery. Our green, our two yellows. A little bit of our liquid white just to help it come off the brush. Oh, that's a great color right there. Tapping on this guy over the edge. Working along its bright side first. And as we go back, it gets a little darker, a little darker, a little darker, a little darker, a little darker. Right? I'm not going to see every piece and everything on that little guy. Oh, isn't he just fabulous? Isn't he just fabuloso, guys? I love it. 
couple more bright spots on our one side. Not trying to cover everything, no. Right? We don't need to have every single piece be blasted with color. Not everywhere is going to catch all that light. You know what I mean? Little things. Oh, it just makes your trees just full of depth, doesn't it? Just doesn't it? A little bit of purple on some of the foliage. Hey, man, that's up to Anna. Because she said orangey's reddies and stuff. And I said, all right, we're going to go orangey's reddish. And say where is this guy speaking of some orangish reddish bushes let's go into our crimson into our brown and into our other brown get over here get the skin off come on there it is there it is these guys right let's say we start to pop out over here a couple little things they don't need to be too big they need to remain very flat right maybe coming around the edge just a couple more little things not everywhere is going to have the same amount of bushes right drop down over here just in case we don't pick up across that big area with our tree and everything back here is going to pretty much be covered this guy let's go a little crazy let's go a little crazy now we'll pop a little bush right in around the edge just kind of growing out growing out and then we might end up covering over this small little bit in this little corner when we come down with our big tree but just like that now Anna do we want to have those those highlights, those orangish reddish highlights. You agreed with Cat? Oh, Anna. All right, down here, we'll put some purple bits. I was just, I was talking you up, Anna. I was like, no, man, she just wants reddish orange. And then you had to go change it up on me. I don't even have purple out on my palette today, guys. There's not even any purple out here. All right, let's get into our liquidy white. Just a small amount. Over here, we're gonna start with our orangey guys, a little orangish, little highlights coming in, tapping in off these little dudes. Small little things back here, right? We don't need everywhere to all be exactly the same. We don't want to cover up everything. And remember, it's gonna get taken out by a big old tree on the side. So don't worry about it too much. Oh, that's fantastic right there. Fabutastic. All right, let's get out that purple. Let's go a little crazy. Get out our dioxazine purple. Luckily for you guys, I just got a brand new tub of it at the store today. And I think I was looking for the last bit of the other one. I think we used it all. Okay, a little bit of purple dioxazine purple by Damblin 1980. Fabulous color, if you ask me. I love it. All right, a little bit of our liquid white. You gotta have liquid white. If you're gonna have these paints come off of themselves and stick to other things, you gotta have that liquid white. And it takes our purple and turns it into this gorgeous bright lavender. Right? Then it came off of these little guys. Little things in the night. A little touch. We roll some down like that too. Little bits of grassy purpleness. Right around all that orange, red, purple craziness. Down into here. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What if we throw in two? Since we're going purple crazy, let's get a little bit of our red. Oh, yes. Look at this one. A little bit of red up on the top. Okay. Red on the top. And then we go purple on the bottom. <laughs> a couple little purpley bits. Drop it out down there. Little fantastic little things. Now, Let's get one more crazy bit, right? Since we've got all this plaque, we're definitely gonna need to remake some plaque now. Definitely. Let's pop in this whole huge nuts little thing right here. Covering up all those little things, right? It's very dark, very foreboding, and reaching out over our stairs, trying to grow onto it. Now we can come in with some of my, some more of my purple bits. Right? We'll get down on this purple, down around here, the whole backside, kind of working it. That flow down little taps. And then we'll put that red on the top, guys. A little reddery. A little reddery for the top here. Excellently. Over there. There we go. 
gorgeous. Let that thing roll down over some of those purple bits. Right, because not everything's going to be supremely separated out there. Isn't that fantastic? You guys! Now let's get in here. i got to make up some more plaque. i got to mix up some more plaquery. Ooh, man. Wow, says Cosmic. Thank you. We're going to do like one little sticky branchy tree over here and then a mega sticky branchy tree over here. So we need to mix up some of our Paint With Josh plaque, guys. What does that mean? What are the three colors that we use in order to make up this supremely dark, foreboding, scary dark color? It's the darkest of all dark colors known to exist in mankind's history. <laughs> what are the three color mix that we throw in there? I love that little greenish yellowy tree back there. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Go with the flow nose, tabby nose, Elizabeth Thorne nose, Linda nose, one rogue bard nose. Seems like everybody knows. Alicia. I mean, Alicia knows. And Denise Hendry is going to lose her subscription benefits soon. I always hate when it says that. I really do. All right, let's get up here into our dark paint. Right? Over here. Let's mix down into all this. Now, this should be a very easy question. Do you think we've got enough paint in this pile to make two, count them, two trees on this crazy canvas? You let me know right now. Do you think yes or no answers is all we're looking for? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eric says no, he doesn't think so. We got a yes from Alicia. Katie says yes. Tabby says yes. TMH says yes, no. <laughs> uh, Big D's going to lose our subscription benefits soon. You guys. All right, let's get in here. Let's do the smaller one first. I'm going to place them back a little further. We'll put them up into here. Make them a little smaller. Boom. Pop them down like that. Just a little guy. Just off in the distance, right? Doesn't have to, it doesn't have to go all the way to the top, but it looks better if it does. Just like that. Boom, one solid little log back there. All right, now let's come in with the mega log. We know we want them sitting next to our tree. So let's take our whole brush like this, just straight down, whoop, come back up here, pick up again. Boom, drop it down. Now let's go load up again. And then we gotta come with all the branches, guys. So don't get crazy over there. Bang, all right, a little bit bigger. Now, that and that are not too big. They're not too much of a difference, right? So I think I want to extend him just a little bit. Come over just like a whole nother quarter inch right there. Bang, boom, boom, boom. Now that's a big old foreground of a tree, right? And we're gonna have to toss out some crazy branches on this guy. So what do we need? What do we need in order to make our paint thin enough that it will come off of our brush and make all these crazy branches? Right? What can we use in order to do that? There's a few things, a few answers I will accept. Right? We'll come out here like this and start coming down off of these little dudes, just making these little crazy old branches. You can throw them up, you can throw them off to the side, you can dip them down. How far do you want it to go? That's all up to you. Right? You get to choose. You get to choose. The thinner, right? Thinner works or your liquid clear. I've heard some people use baby oil, right? To make the paint get real thin like that. You just want it really watery. And we know we can't use water because oils and water don't mix, right? So that's not gonna work. How else are we gonna do this crazy old thing? Well, we gotta use our thinner. We can use our liquid clear. You can use more linseed oil, you know what I mean? Kind of same thing as liquid clear, but right there, throwing off some branches, right? Fabulous, just fabulous, you guys. Now, let's get a little bit more, because each time that we kind of let it roll off our brush, it's no longer in our pile. Let's come down disconnected from the tree, toss out a big old branch right there, right? Didn't even start at the tree right there. Come down, there's another one. Maybe there's a little broken piece. Maybe we come down, we're getting out a little bit further, going a little bit farther out here. Another little broken bit piece off of that guy, one out here, over there, over there. Where do you want to put these little pieces of branches? It's all up to you guys, right? This backside's so close to the edge of the tree, we just have to put different size 
bits of broken branch off the edge. Literally. And they'll look like all sorts of stuff come down there. Zip! Straight across, right? The further you come out to the side, the more it's gonna push everything into the distance. Right? So if you're coming out here with these big old branches and we're crisscrossing across our thing, trying to reach out, because remember, this guy's much closer than that guy is. So his branches need to extend further out. Just like that. Right? We're gonna add so much depth to our painting. It's gonna be insane. Boop, a couple little bits over here. One right through our bushes, twisting and rolling. All this action, right? It's crazy action. Bink, right in front of our little thing, just pushed our, our, our gravestone back a little bit, right? That's all we're doing. It's just giving stuff depth by adding little bits here and there and everywhere. That's pretty much it. Literally all we're doing. Just adding some bits here, there, and everywhere. And a bit of that purple to cover in the bottom of the tree, right? And then on this guy, we can decide, is he sitting close enough where you can maybe see some of the, the flat bottom, like our little root system is growing off? Or can you not? Do you want to fill it with a, with a bush? You know what I mean? All up to us and what we think. Let's come in here. What if we had a couple little, yes, perfect. Just a couple little red flowery bits along the edge. And then because we're in the deep shadow of the tree, we'd have that purpley bit back in here. Right? Where that light can't reach. Oh, I like it. I like it, guys. Very cool, very cool. So, what do you guys think for a title for this one, right? Let me know in the comments. What would you want to see as far as a title? Because Anna got the painting. She gets to choose the title, and it's just going to be fantastic. She might need your help, though, right? That's very cool. That's very cool. Now, let's get in here with all this brown. These two brown colors, we're going to mix them up. We're going to toss them back on this other tree back here in the distance. All right, starting on the back and just tapping at it, depositing a little bit of paint. All right, and then we're gonna go back over it and tap at it and tap at it, just kind of flattening that little thing. We don't, we don't wanna to see too much. You know what I mean? We don't wanna to see too much of our trunk or our bark or anything on this guy, because he's far away. But you do wanna have that texture back in there. All right, so get a little bit of darkness, and then come in, brighten up just our one side with some yellow ochre and some Indian yellows, make it much brighter. All right, come on to this guy. That guy's catching that light out there, All right? You can take your spots, dull them by going back over it, over it, over it. We get to decide what it looks like. And then we're gonna use a different color on our bigger tree. So don't worry about using up all of your color in here. All right? Tap it in, tap it in. A couple little bits. Guys, that's looking really neat, really cool. If you ask me, I mean, who am I? I'm just some dude, but. I think it looks pretty neat. Pretty cool. Tap, tap, tap tappy, tap, tappersons. Right? Doesn't all have to look the same. Remember, you gotta have a shadow beside. Now, let's get over here again with all that darkness. We're gonna need literally every piece of brown paint that we can possibly imagine. The biggest pile of brown paint that you've possibly ever seen. This thing that's so immensely gi go humongo gigantus, or whatever that word is. Just a huge amount, okay? Now we're gonna have that dark onto our backside of our tree. And we need a medium dark. So let's get a little bit of our yellows, mix this guy up, all right? Into our little mid-ground dark. And then we're going to need something even brighter than that, all right? So we got one, two. Let's get a little bit more of our yellow ochre, maybe a touch of our white, just a bit, a bit of our thing. We're gonna scrape up a bit of this guy and work that color in right there. Gorgeous, right? It's supposed to be so much brighter than you would think. Now, let's start at the back again. A little bit of our darkness. Tapping it, tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. There's gonna be so much texture on these trees, you guys, that you'll literally be able to feel it. Because all we're doing is scooping up the paint, removing it with that little roll, and then we come up here and we're tapping it and letting it go. And it's tried to suction cup itself against the canvas right there. So we just tap, 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 tap until there's no more paint left, right? You can see it with all my crazy bright lights in here. You can see it getting deposited, right? Dumping down. Gorgeous. Just along the back, you gotta have that dark paint, right? All 
back there. Where do you think the shadowy side of your tree would be? Now we'll come into our mid-ground dark, like the medium darkness, and we'll start tapping this guy in, and dropping down little things. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit brighter than our other brown, right? Which stands out a little bit more. It's catching a little bit more light back in here. Tappy, tappy, tappy! Tappy! <laughs> Tap it on there. And then let's go into our super, our supreme brightness, right? Maybe our tree is just catching all this light. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Tapping it, working it backwards. So you get that really bright, like golden light. It's really just catching on this tree. Right, right along the front. Doesn't even have to be perfect along the whole thing, right? We don't need it to be perfect. And check this out. If you kind of back it up a little bit. Oh, baby, that looks cool, doesn't it? Grabbing just a few little bits more light. Just reaching in. You can leave those dark seams in there too. They look really cool. Nothing has to look the same. It doesn't have to be similar. Blah, 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 right? Make it weird. Make it different, guys. Seriously. And then dabbing, 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 dabbing. Really bright. I like it. Now, what if, because I know Anna doesn't have one, if we dab off this little guy down into here. A little bit of bright. Catching along his edges. Just a little bit. Work into our darker color. Kind of fill in those spots, and then you gotta go back and cut them out. But you gotta put them in there first. And if they're not in there, then it looks weird. There we go. Okay. Get a little bit of that brightness again. Come around the outside. Inside. Get right into here. Let's use a small edge of our knife in there. There we go. Pull it down. Okay, now we're gonna go back a bit of our darkness and just launch in like a just a oh he's screaming back there help me you guys he's like hey guys all right copying our darkness for our eyeballs and all of a sudden what do you got but an old face in the tree <laughs> just an old face in the crowd Until I like how it looks, you know what I mean? It's the only person that has to like how it looks is me. Right? So if we said there was a little bit more light coming down in there, right? Leads your eye down to our facial expression. Over here, over there, dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it. Working at it, guys. Work at it until you like how it looks, dudes. If you don't like how it looks, nobody's gonna like how it looks. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. There it is. Perfect. A little bit of dark line in between the two brights. Right? You don't want it to be you know, straight up touching. There we go. Gorgeous. You gotta have that darkness in there. That really helps, guys. What about the same sort of idea right here then, if it's gotta be dark? Perfect. Love it. Just love it. <laughs> love it. There we go. I'm in love with it. There we go. Get some of that light, baby. Not make it so bright on his nose. We gotta have the one brightness, otherwise it doesn't make any sense, Joshy. There we go. That's it. That's it, baby. <laughs> That's it. Make our eyes streak down a little bit longer. There he is. I like that. Hokish, pshokish. You guys are cool. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit of my darkness, my texture on some of these bigger branches where we get out here and we can kind of get a little bit of that paint textury touch onto our branches. This is gonna help give a little bit more depth. Now, you don't have to do it on every branch, right? It doesn't have to be everywhere. So, if you pop it on there very lightly, you're gonna get these little random deposits where you're gonna have some cool little bark, honestly. You don't have to do it everywhere, I'm telling you. Don't try to force it into a place that doesn't want it. 
right? You're just gonna end up making the painting mad. It's just gonna be mad over there. Right? Here we catch a bit of our brighter light on that guy or this guy or wherever we want it to be, right? We get to choose, guys. That's the best part about these paintings. We're the ones we get to pick. I don't care what you say, I get to pick. You know what I mean? Very cool. What's up, Bailey? Did you see my wall panels, bub? I, ex oh, I, I extended them. And we have like four more packs to do, me and you later. Yay, Yay right? It's okay, I'll pay you with Taco Bell. It's <laughs> uh, funny. There we go. I'd get paid with Taco Bell. Hey, little pieces of our branchiness, right? Not trying to cover every single bit out there. Right across. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> okay, guys, gals, painting pals, you guys have been literally fantastic, and I love ya. We gotta come up with a title for this here painting now, don't we? So, hit me with your titles. What do you think we should call it? Couple little bits in the night. Got our crazy old witch over there is cooking up something. I don't know what it is, but it's something, man. It's something in there. <laughs> it's so funny, Anna's been waiting for like three years for me to get good at fall paintings and now she's just nabbing them all. It's like, this is what we've been waiting for, guys. We've been training for this moment. <laughs> we knew Josh would get good at fall paintings and we gotta get we gotta be ready when he gets there. Okay, guys, you guys have to start coming up with a title. Ghostly Hallows. <laughs> Ghostly Hallows, Mike. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, it's starting to sting again, you guys. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Ghostly Hallows. My goodness. All right. This one's going to look cool under a light party, too, you guys. Ow. Oh my god, it stings so bad. I haven't thought about it this whole time until we stopped painting and now it really stings. 1506 or calling it. What now? What are we calling it? Did it go away already? Was it. Guys? <laughs> Deathly Hallows? Or. No, that wasn't it. Was it? Ghostly. Ghostly. Thank you, Cosmic. <laughs> they ghostly come at night. Ghostly. <laughs> ghostly Hallows. Man, that is a title. This one was painted on 10, uh, 3 of 2000, you dick. 2023. There we go, brain. Make it work. We're all going to go check paintwithjosh.com. Because beyond TikTok, and YouTube and Insta, you know what I mean? Top five, all websites ever, paintwithjosh.com. Guys, look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Ow, that hurt. There we go. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So we're gonna use the guys down here. Sweet, okay. Man, that's cool. All right, let's get our signature on there, you guys. And then, oh, we got a perfect bright area, too, just right in the middle for the old bird fan family just flying through. Just ca -ca right through the center of the brightness. Ca -ca just flying down there. All right, now I'm going to throw the old Josh Hancock right over here. Zip, zap, zoop, guys. Fabulous. They ghostly come at night. Hellos. All right. I like that. You guys. You guys are wild, man. You guys are wild. You guys are wild. Kim Johnson. Guys, I got one. Did I say that 2023... Oh my God, my finger stings so bad. Did I say that, Kim Johnson? I'm sorry. Because 
my dyslexia and my ADHD and all those other things, it sometimes uh, tends to happen when I've got hundreds of people watching me. It's Murphy's Law. It's Murphy's Law, Kim. You know, right? Murphy's Law is that law that's like, if something can happen, it will happen, and it always happens to me during my show, right? So, do you know of Murphy's Law, Kim? Just me and you. I know. No, I know. I know. I, I wrote 24 on the back. I'll show you. I just said 23. So, do you know, though, Kim, of Murphy's Law? Because everyone does, right? Everyone knows Murphy's Law. But there's another law that's much less well-known, right? And that law is, has more to do with what we're doing in this instance right here. So, just Kim. Just talking to Kim. Me and Kim. Having a combo. You know of Murphy's Law, right? Of course. Murph's. Old Murph's Law. It's like... If, I'm, if, my, if my grocery bags are going to break, they're not going to break when I'm in the house or when I'm in the car. They're going to break in between the two, right? Yeah, Murphy's Law, right? It's, 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 you know. I just explained it, you know, right? Say I'm walking up the, the stairs with my grocery bags. They're not going to break at the bottom. They're not going to break at the top. They're going to break right in the middle, right? Yeah, everyone knows Murphy's Law. So this guy named Cole also wrote a law very similar but if you don't know it, it's okay because it's much less well-known, right? Much less well-known. So, have you ever heard of that law by this guy named Cole? And I'll explain it to you if you have it. Super easy. Just super simple. Damn, this one came out so good, Anna. Just so awesome. I can't stop looking at it. The tree face. Ah! <laughs> and Kim. Kimmy, Kim, Kim. You don't think so. You've never heard of Cole's law. All right. It's basically like cabbage and mayonnaise and carrots, maybe onions. I don't, I don't eat this shit. It's horrible. You can get it from KFC, your local deli, every crappy backyard, backyard barbecue you've ever been to has coleslaw. And uh, yeah, you've never heard of coleslaw, huh? That's weird. I thought lots of people knew about it. I don't like this stuff, personally. I don't eat it. But, you know. <laughs> Ow, my finger. Ow, it stings so bad from the sweat inside this glove. So, did, uh, <laughs> did she leave or is, is she mad? <laughs> Never heard of Cole's Law, huh? Thank you, though, for falling for the joke. That is the most important part, is that uh, we actually got through it and Kim Johnson's laughing her face off. So, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's a tough one to get through, especially when there's so many people that, um, that uh, know my punchline and they want to give away the punchline. What happened to my finger... I was putting up these wall panels, right? I've done, you guys have all seen these ones, right? But look, ah, oh, we did the whole corner wall. We did the whole thing going this way. And there's just a few more to go until we finish the entire wall. But I was like, I was trying to get underneath it and slide my finger over so I could pop it off and readjust it. And it went, and I was like, ah, ah. And it was like just deep enough to where it didn't bleed, but it's that fresh raw skin that if you get sweat in or if you touch it, you know what I mean? Then uh, it just stings like the dickens. So, and this one came out really cool. I really like it. So raise your hand, go guys. If I got, if you got slawed by the coleslaw joke, raise your hand, put them up. I know, uh, was it Kim? I know Kim got it, right? Yeah, it was a deep paper cut because these things, they're very, very, very thin and they're very sharp. Very sharp. But yeah. You go with the flow, you crazy spadger. All right, cool. We got some other people other than our normals. Ow, fudge. Can't deal with it anymore, dude. Look, it doesn't even look that bad, but you can see, besides the sweatiness, right, that chunk missing out of it, and it just stings. Oh. Okay. Guys, shit hurts, bro. Ah. Hey guys, alright. <laughs> guys, shit hurts, bro. Ah, hey guys, alright. <laughs> I have to clean brushes now with a glove free hand. So, um, give me a second. You guys check this out. We're going to do a quick light party. So, here's your flash warning. Right? If you're sensitive to the light flashiness and the crazy poos, then turn your phone around for about 10 to 15 seconds, starting. In about five seconds, I'll audibly let you know when it's time to look back again. Three, two, one, and my party! 
hey, boo Look at that thing. Oh, look at the... I'm kind of pointing with my hurt finger. But, eh. <laughs> Very cool. Very cute, guys. Come on, bucket. Don't be a butt. All right, the light party is now concluded. You may now turn your phones around. And Sergio Jones, I appreciate it. I've got so many more over on YouTube, like full-length videos you can watch from start to finish over there. Let's finish washing these guys off. This one came out way better than I thought. Just way better. Phantasmicism. It's a brand new word I, I came up with. Yeah, we're going to do a second show later. I can't decide. You guys help me decide right here, okay? Let me show you what I've got. Because I know that everybody went ape shit over Max crazy, like, the thing with the exploding planet and the volcano with the UFO and all that stuff. So I did another one. And I did another one. I've got another one set up. I just don't know if anybody wants it or not. Right? Debbie's like, I'll be sleeping. I know Jennifer said she wanted one like that. And a few other people had said that they wanted one like that. So, and then I've got this guy, which is very trippy. Right? <laughs> what I plan on doing is having a waterfall far off in the back of the eye socket back here. Obviously, it's a face. Right. Water falling back there and then dribbling out down to about this step. It's not going to make it all the way down, right? It might by the time we get there, but I kind of want it to look like it's just falling and we've just caught it as it just started to flow and then we're just about to catch it. You know what I mean? That snapshot in time versus a flowing thing. So, and uh, yeah, I don't know which one to do next, but one of those two we will do next. Depends on you guys. Like I said, I know some people have, were wanting a, a replacement or a redo of that um, Volcano painting that we did. And so I set one up for you guys. A exploding planet action. I get dinner too. I haven't even eaten yet. This is why we wear gloves until the end. <laughs> hey, from Italy. How you doing? Both, says Kenzie. Kenzie, you can't just go both. You can't just do both. Where are you going, bub? Um, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. Oh, okay. When are you coming back? Uh, later. What about dinner? Uh, I'll probably eat dinner at once. Okay. Love you, bye. Okay. Love you, bye. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited. But you're so good. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I have a two-in-one show. Mac, you're getting crazy over there. <laughs> Let me try to scoot this over so you guys get a better view. There we go. Oh, yeah. Pink. Very cool. Todd says the spacey one. I don't know. Doesn't seem like anybody wants either of the two. So... Maybe we just call it quits, and then I hang up the rest of these panels. Yeah! Hey, guys! No? No? I mean, honestly. Thank you, since you paint the prettiest things. I appreciate that. The second ones. You want to see the forest? He's going to do a poll. Boo! 
Nice. And you guys are thinking more, I've got more of this one than the, the spacey one so far in our little like janky pole that we're doing right here. It's just a little janky pole. <laughs> Skull with the water. All right, it could be like Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Persephone, that would be so sweet of you. I would very much appreciate that. Let's see. You said your mod access is gone. Are you for real? It says you have it right there. What the hell? Good again. All right. You guys want this one then, do you? Do you want this one now, do yous? It's being glitchy. All right. In any case, um, maybe we'll do this little guy next then. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, I want to thank you guys for being here and hanging out with me. And every time I get to come up... Fucking finger stings. Every time I get to come up and do a show for you guys, I just love it. It's literally all I think about all day is what to paint for you, honestly. That's it. What to paint for you. You, right there, you watching this. I'm like, what did they want me to paint? Bang. And I try to drop it out just for you, right? Band-Aids, I know. It's mean, dude. It's getting redder now that my finger's not all like wet and sweaty. But yeah, I took it down to like the very last layer. I was like, there you go with some really fresh, tender little skin. Oh man. Thank you, Linda, appreciate it. Love it all, says Frida. Dig you. Um, but yeah, you guys are fantastic. I love this one. Legit came out amazing. Wouldn't do a thing to change it. I love the little pumpkin. Last year I hated all my pumpkins. I didn't like any of them. I was like, ah, oh, pumpkins. I love this part where the, the light is literally shining out of the cabin. Like she's just cooking up a spell in there or something crazy. It's beautiful. Thanks, Debbie. Appreciate you. You guys are awesome. The gravestone in the front is perfect, man. Thanks, TMH. You guys are just fabulous. Bet you didn't even see that one back there. Lost it. There's one back there, too. That's why you put them back there so you can cover over them. <laughs> Man, you guys. So, yeah, I think I just want to do the rest of these wall panels. No? So it's going to be so awesome. Go down the whole apartment. See how my clock's already hanging on one? Me too. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. I'm going to do this other painting. And then I'll do the, the wall panels. Fine. Fine, guys. Oh, there is a pole now. Okay. What's this pole? Waterfall or space? Ooh, it's two to three, guys. It's two to three right now. Or two to one. Three to one. Three to two to three to one. To four to seven. To eight, nine, and ten. You guys are amazing. All right. I'm laying the rest later in Discord. I know. I know. It's bad. It's going to take me all night. Do you keep any for your paintings for wall? Oh, for my wall? I keep any of my own stuff? Everything is for sale on my... On my uh, in my shop. The ones, I do have some that are waiting, you know what I mean? They're not sold yet, so they I hang them up on my own wall, and then if they do find a new home, then I'll put something else up on the wall and kind of rotate them in and out. All right, the waterfall one, I guess. Then <laughs> we can play golf. You guys are funny. All right, so. <sighs> Finger stings, man. I'll be back in uh, about an hour. From right now so until i see you guys again on the next one take care have a rest of a good day and bye